In this question, you must show all the stages of your working. Figure one shows the sketch of the graph with equation y equals to three minus two x. Solve three minus two x with the absolute sign equals to seven plus x. To solve this kind of question, you need to get rid of the absolute sign. The absolute sign like that, the first thing you do it with positive. So you do it with three minus two X and seven plus X, you solve that first one. After that, you solve the next equation using a minus. The minus in front of the three minus two X. So what I'm saying is to get rid of the absolute sign, you will use a positive version of three minus two X and a negative version of three minus two X. So let's deal with the left hand side with the positive version. So you write three minus two X is equals to seven plus X. Put all the X to the left plus X goes to the left. It becomes minus X and plus three goes to the right. It becomes minus three. So minus two X minus X is minus three X. Seven minus three is four. It's minus three times X. So you divide by minus three. So X equals to four divided by minus three, which is X equals to minus four over three. On the right hand side, we do it with the negative. So remove the bucket. Imagine there's a one here. Minus one times three is minus three. Minus one times minus two X is plus two X. And that is equal to seven plus X. Plus X goes to the left. It becomes minus X, so two X minus X. And minus three goes to the right. It becomes plus three. Seven plus three is 10. So X equals to 10. So your two answers, X equals to minus four over three and X is equals to 10. And to show your answers on the graphics calculator, you would plot three minus two X as the blue graph and seven plus X as the red graph. And make sure you put the absolute sign. So the blue graph is three minus two X and the red one is seven plus X. And you want to find where they meet. So you would use intersection they meet at that point there and at that point there so the first point this one they meet there which is my is t x is equals to 10 and they meet at this point here which is minus 1.3 which is the minus 4 over 3 so your calculator shows you the two answers minus 4 over 3 for x and x equals to 10 but the question wants you to show the working out and that's the scale for your calculator so you can see it clearly. So the calculator shows you the answer, but you have to use algebra to show the working out. That's the complete answer for people. Question one. Question number two, sketch the curve with equation y is equals to four to the power x. Stating any points of intersection with the coordinate axis. Part B, solve four to the power X equals to 100, giving your answer to two decimal places. So to sketch the graph, Y equals to four to the power X, you can start by substituting X is zero. So four to the power zero is one. So when X is zero, Y is one. That's one point. And you can put X is infinity. Four to the power infinity is infinity is a large number. Or you put X is minus infinity. Four to the minus infinity is like one over four to the infinity, one over a large number, which is zero. But I'll show you how to do that on the calculator. So you don't have to go through that. In your graphics calculator, you would type four to the power X. 
4 to the power x. And that's what the graph would look like. So x is 0 and y is 1. So this point, that's where it crosses the y-axis. And you're using this function g solve in your calculator. You press g solve and you look for y intercept. Y intercept. Y intercept is where it crosses the y axis. So when you press g solve and that gives you zero and one, that gives you the graph. And that's the graph you need to sketch in your exam paper. So this is the view window. Your x can go from minus five all the way to plus eight. And your y goes from minus five all the way to say 10. So that you can see it clearly. And you draw that in your exam paper. Part B, solve four to the power x is equals to 100, giving your answer to two decimal places. We're going to use log. So write four to the power x equals to 100. You put log in front. Log four to the power x is equal to log 100. The x comes to the front, power to the front law. So we become x times log 4 is equal to log 100. This is x times log 4. The opposite of times is divide. So you take log 4 to the right-hand side. It becomes divided by log 4. So log 100 to the base 10 divided by log 4 to the base 10. Put that in your calculator. Use that fraction button in your calculator. And you will get x equals to 3.32192895. To two decimal places, you draw a line after the second decimal place. So it's 3.32. And when you put it in your calculator, log 100 divided by log 4, that gives you that answer there. That's how you do it.